Well, welcome back, everyone. We have Marie Walton, our Johnny Appleseed naturalist here with some furry brown animals. So, Marie, what are we going to discuss today? Well, now that the leaves are mostly off the trees, it's a good time to look for signs of nature that we might not have been able to see before. And one of my favorite things to look for are squirrel nests. All right. Which are also called drays. And um, a dray is a really impressive piece of animal architecture. So um, they make the framework out of sticks and twigs, and then they line it with leaves that they smooth out, and they kind of put them in a shingle-like fashion, and this helps to insulate and waterproof their homes. Oh. And um, one nest has been found to have 26 layers of really? leaves. So they put a lot of work into yes, this. Yes, they do, obviously. They're able to shred bark up and moss, and they take bits of fur and feathers and anything that they can find in nature, anything they can get their little squirrely paws on, <laughs> and they put it in there to make it nice and warm and cozy for them. Um, they're really smart little animals. And then if you ever are taking a walk and you see one dray, one squirrel nest, and you see like a couple others nearby, they're super intelligent animals and they'll actually make fake drays to oh, throw off predators. Yeah. Oh. So inside of a fake dray, it's not as carefully constructed. It's just, it looks the same on the outside, like a ball of leaves up in the tree that otherwise has no leaves. But on the inside, it is just trashed. Like it's not as carefully huh. constructed at all. I and thought it was just like family friends or neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> that would be super cool. Sometimes they do have neighbors, okay. but sometimes they're fake to throw <laughs> off the trail. So you never know. And then one of my favorite things to think about is how animals Animals live throughout the entire winter outside. And squirrels are members of family Sciuridae. So tree squirrels, like the ones we often see around, like gray squirrels or fox squirrels, which is what I have brought here, they're family Sciuridae, but so are ground squirrels, like this groundhog. <laughs> and chipmunks are also ground squirrels, too. And ground squirrels make it through the winter by hibernating in underground dens. But tree squirrels don't have to hibernate. They're super smart and they've learned to stockpile their nuts in little places all over the forest or your neighborhood. And they're able to find them and remain active and snacking all winter long. Okay. Which it's is how I like to go. Right, <laughs> exactly. So they, they actually take their like food resources and hide them around the neighborhood? Yeah, because oh. the hardest part about winter for a squirrel, a ground squirrel, or a tree squirrel is actually the famine. So they're omnivores, so they eat nuts and seeds and also mm -hmm. insects, and there's not a lot of that in the winter time. So they have to find a way to get through that time. And that is the way that the squirrel is able to survive. And they have a couple other adaptations as well. One is that they grow a really thick winter coat. So here by you, I have two fox squirrels. One has kind of like a summer coat, more thin, and one has a fluffier, like plusher winter coat. Mm -hmm. So you can really see the difference. Another thing that squirrels are able to do to last through the winter is they store extra fat. So <laughs> squirrels are really chonky right now. I do the same thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute, but they have a layer of fat right under their skin, and um, that works as like a puff coat for them to hold any heat close to their bodies to keep them extra warm during the winter. Okay. So right now is actually a great time to go on a fat squirrel hike. <laughs> and I encourage everyone to go on a fat squirrel hike this when this uh, weekend and look for squirrels and their nests as well. And Johnny Appleseed has some wonderful trails that you could probably go out and explore. You know, you got the, what, how many parks do you have? Like so many. We have 15 parks. 15. And I've seen a lot of them at Teddy Bear Park as well as Kendrick Woods. Oh yeah, Kendrick Woods is my neighborhood because I'm from Spencerville. So that, oh. I love to explore Kendrick Woods. So <laughs> I'm going to have to be looking for these squirrel nests and, and see what I can find myself. And maybe I'll find their their food source and take a little nibble. <laughs> All right. Well, Marie, thank you so much for coming out and just giving us information about these wonderful animals. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Well, don't go away. We have more when we return.